Dr. J here. Today we're going to be discussing medical reasons that you may not be able to lose weight yet. Okay, so let's get started with that. The first reason would be your thyroid, your thyroid hormone. Okay, your thyroid is in charge of your metabolism. And so it's kind of like the gas. You can either speed up your metabolism or you can slow it down, okay? And if you slow it down, then you're going to have be experiencing weight gain, okay? And a slow thyroid is a hypothyroid. And 5% of all of us across the board have a slow thyroid. And, and 60% of the 5%, 60% of the 5% go undiagnosed. So it's worthy of having thyroid panel and having it checked. Some of the symptoms of, of a slow thyroid is you have, you're tired all the time. You have fatigue, you have hair, hair loss, coarse skin, it's real rough and dry. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and of course, weight gain. <laughs> That's why we're here. Okay. So it's worthy to have your thyroid checked and you don't just want to have your TSH checked. You want to get a little bit more involved and do a little bit more complete thyroid panel. And I like a reversed T3. So I know what my T3 is doing. Okay. Add it to the panel, reverse T3. Cause if you have a ton of reverse T3, it's a dud and you need to have free T3. Anyway, number two hormone is your stress hormones, okay? Specifically cortisol, okay? So persistent high levels of cortisol will give you persistent blood sugar levels or blood glucose levels that are elevated. It can also give you high blood pressure. You can also have a decreased immune system response, meaning you're gonna get sick a little bit more than most people. Also, you can have decreased serotonin levels, as these are side effects of high cortisol or persistent long stress over time. And ser serotonin is supposed to be, is your happy hormone, okay? So we need it, okay? Also, excessive cortisol, elevated blood sugar levels will give you an excessive hunger. You'll be hungry all the time for sugar, high carbohydrates. Okay. You'll be chewing down those carbohydrates, of course, and that will in turn give you weight gain. Okay. Because of that, a very serious illness of high prolonged persistent stress and cortisol levels is, is something called Cushing's disease. And so that is just notable, depending on where you are on the scale of stress in your life, whether we need to have that checked out, because it's important. So the third hormone I wanna discuss would be leptin. Leptin, L-E-P-T-I-N, okay? So leptin is secreted by the fat cells and it turns off hunger in the body. Okay, so when there's a problem with leptin, you can't turn off your hunger in the body. And one of the things that causes low leptin levels is sleep disturbances, okay? So if you're not getting a good seven, eight hours of sleep a night, then it's notable. There was a study out of Finland done several years ago where those that were de deprived of sleep six hours or less gained 11 pounds or five kilograms, okay? And so that was mostly women, just saying, but that is notable. It's notable that if we have a sleep deprivation, we are going to be, the brain will not secrete or tell the fat cells to secrete leptin. And so we don't want that to happen. Also, it's notable that when we're obese or we're gaining weight, we should have a ton of fat cells that are, are releasing leptin into the system so that it tells me I don't need to eat it, I'm not hungry. So there's, a, there's something going wrong in the system, okay? And it's kind of like um, an alcoholic, okay? The same way an alcoholic needs more and more and more alcohol 
to achieve intoxication is the same type of system that's happening here with the leptin. Even though we've gained weight and gained weight and gained weight, we still need, our brain is telling our body, release the leptin, release the leptin, release the leptin, so that we will not be hungry. So one of the keys to, to losing weight is the, this leptin cycle. And so we need to look at it and you have the ability to have a voice to your doctors to let them know, okay? All right, so the fourth hormone that will inhibit weight loss is insulin, okay? The mighty insulin. So insulin, I've discussed this before, so you should just check out the video that I've done on how to decrease insulin and increase weight loss. So insulin, okay, its purpose is to store fat, okay? And it also helps regulate blood sugar levels, okay? So you eat a meal, your pancreas is then signaled because there is an increase of blood glucose and the insulin is then released to take care of that into the bloodstream, okay? And so it will take your blood sugar and store it into fat cells, liver cells, and muscle cells, okay? And so when that's occurring, it then brings down your blood sugar levels on the perfect day. However, over time, similar to leptin resistance, okay, you, you're then requiring more and more and more insulin to bring down your blood sugar levels, okay? So the more and more, when you eat the same meal, your body needs more and more insulin to manage that. And so then it cleans up your blood, gets rid of the blood sugar, and then you are left over with excess insulin in the body, the bloodstream. So then it's going to go and turn into stored fat. The insulin will store fat, okay? And so that's the reason why we have to break that, that the hormone cycles here, okay? Especially leptin and um, insulin. Um, so I just really do wanna just take a minute and please listen to the other videos so you can learn how, you know, decreasing your carbohydrates, you know, you basically don't really need them <laughs> that, that, that much, okay? We need fiber, tons of fiber for our beautiful bellies. However, our ability to eat carbs has to change. So we have to be carb dodgers. Anyway, I explain more of that later. So insulin is a culprit, okay? So now these four hormones in and of themselves um, just need to be looked at. You can go and talk to your medical doctor and he can give you more guidance on that. Also, there are medications that actually cause um, weight gain, okay? So the first would be, of course, insulin or any um, drug that would induce the pancreas to release insulin will cause weight gain, okay? Also, steroids, okay? Steroids cause weight gain. And steroid is a synthetic version of cortisol, okay? Now, when you're really sick and you need your immune system <laughs> suppressed, beautiful because it suppresses your immune system, steroids, which is great for a short period of time. However, it causes, it has all the same side effects as high cortisol and high stress do in the body, whereby it, it will increase your blood sugar levels. And then we're back in that. So it will cause weight gain over time. Also, antidepressants can also cause weight gain, okay? And I'm not saying don't ever take these drugs, that would be ridiculous, okay? I'm just telling you that you need to look at all these little plates spinning in the air and find out what's keeping you from gaining weight and that, um, keeping you from losing weight, okay? And then offset it and learn how to stop it, okay? Um, also, there's something called lipoedemia, lipoedemia, swelling. Okay, edemia is, is swelling. And so you see that a lot in the calves and in the thighs and the rear end and in the arms, okay? And it ex most exclusively is women that have this. So you, you will be able to lose weight 
in the midsection, the upper body, but not in the lower body per se. And so that is another condition that a lot of doctors don't look at and you can always take that with you to the doctor to say, hey, can we look at this? Can you help me look at this? Because I am interested in losing weight and I'm noticing this, that I could potentially have lipoedemia. So please look it up, okay? Um, and so I just want to empower you that you um, have the ability to take your health to the next level, okay? And, and uh, it takes time and you need to be patient. There's no silver bullets. I love miracles. I love miracles. I love when God just sheds, sheds weight off of us or, and that's happened to many people, or, or um, you know, the miraculous, you're healed instantly. God does that. He's still doing that today. Praise the Lord. But he's also interested in the process of wellness and walking out our wellness. And so weight loss is a touchy subject. And so there's no surefire targeted way to do it. But if you do the things that I've been discussing and you do them gradually and over time, you will have results. I'm here to give you hope and instill life back into you, okay? Um, Romans 15, 13 is my favorite. You should go look it up. I also just, I so much appreciate you allowing me to help you take your next step together towards health. So we're together doing it. Please subscribe to my channel, share it with friends, and click on the bell to get reminders. Thanks for your time today. Bless you.